All right, so got it. It's been in the works for a while. Um, I got Alan from Papa Bear Knives to make this knife for me. It's going to be a prototype um, for a production knife for another company. I can't talk about who's making it right now. Um, some people might know, but it's uh, gonna be a surprise. So um, here it is, the prototype, the pre-production prototype for my Marine Reaper buoy, the B44X. Let's open this up. It's always hard opening stuff on the camera. So I'm trying to give everybody a good angle. Not sure what's in there, so I don't want to cut too deep. All right. This is my uh, Tops Tex Creek 69. Good little knife. All right, let's see what we got. Some packaging. things in here. All right, here it is. All right, uh, before I start opening stuff up, um, check this guy out. His name's um, Alan. Papa Bear Knives out of South Carolina. All right, stick this over here. Some stickers, the sheath, and that is a nice sheath. Um, I forgot the uh, name of the maker, but it's gonna be posted on my Instagram. Um, they'll be tagged in it. Nice little EGA right there on the sheath. All right. So uh, before I unwrap this, um, I've always liked big knives. You know, I'm a um, last of the Gen X kids. So I, I was a big fan of all the uh, you know, 80s, 90s action movies. So, you know, if you've seen any of those, you have to have a, a big knife. Um, this knife is um, the Marine Raider buoy. Um, Carson's Raiders made them pretty famous. Um, these were also issued um, to Army Air Corps of Engineers. Um, they were under the seats of pilots for survival knives. Um, this was pretty much issued to anybody going anywhere in the South Pacific that was going to be doing some jungle chopping stuff. So also being a buoy fan, um, this is where a lot of my inspiration came from. And one thing I wanted to do was kind of beef it up, make it a little more user friendly without the rear guard and make the handle really ergonomic. And I wanted to add a fuller to cut weight and to kind of give it that K-bar look or, um, you know, some people call it a blood groove. I don't think it's really for um, letting out blood, but um, it's got a good look. And if the fuller is done right, it can help with the uh, weight reduction and has good aesthetics. And, uh, you know, looking cool doesn't hurt either. So, all right, let's open this up. I've been waiting for this for a while. Um, <laughs> I think you guys waited. All right, so here's my drawings. So this is my first drawing. This is one that I was just gonna make for myself. And I was just gonna use Becker handles. But when I decided, you know, maybe I wanna, you know, um, sell this knife to other people, I don't wanna do that. And uh, I downsized the knife a little bit and fixed the handle some and made it how I wanted it to look. So there it is. There's the drawing. All 
All right, let's open this up. Made in the USA. And originally I was gonna have this polished, but with carbon steel, that could be an issue. So we did an acid edge instead. Um, the handles are OD Green Canvas Micarta. Got plenty of room on there. All right, let's see if I can open this without cutting myself. Woo! Oh, man. I think it's really pretty. So, um, Fuller looks great. The knife looks great. So this fuller will be kind of more rounded on the corners. And uh, one thing pretty impressive is that um, the guy over at Papa Bear Knives cut this out by hand. So he didn't have a water jet or um, machinery. He did this with, uh, with hand tools and with a belt sander. All right, so let's compare this to the Raider buoy. All right, you can see the belly on the Raider buoy. I wanted mine to have a good belly, but I wanted it to be big. Um, this is about 1 8 or uh, 2 16 and mine is 3 16 Let's see if you can see that. All right, I wanted the guard. Um, my guard on the production knife may come out a little farther and be more rounded to kind of give it this uh, rounded brass guard look, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna get this out and use it some. All right, let's see. So choking up, and it feels feels really good. All right, choke down some for chopping. And I wanted to leave some weight around this part of the blade to help with the momentum and have a good belly so you'd have a good um, force, like a good sweet spot chopping area. Um, the false um, grind back here is not sharp. I wanted to keep the tip as thick as possible um, for stabbing so you won't get any type of uh, bending or breaking on the tip. So, you know, a Bowie knife is supposed to be like an all around utility blade. That's supposed to be good for chopping, um, doing utility work, but also um, this is the only thing you're carrying. You want it to be good for uh, defense. And, you know, if you need to stab somebody, you know, you want that, uh, that point to be there. That's why it's not like a, you know, like some choppers have different points. Well, this point is still for stabbing. All right, so uh, I might try to give you guys a close-up of this. Um, I think I'll take my camera down in a second. One more little comparison. You can see mine is a good bit larger. I have some jimping in the back here using it here yeah, I could probably do it some more jumping right there that I don't know if that would look good or interfere with anything else but I don't really know if I need that on the back of the spine is a 90 for doing fire steel and stuff the choil feels good all right let's see if um if I can give you guys the measurements here All right, lines up pretty good. All right, the blade, let's see. The blade is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About 10 and 3 eighths inches. The handle is one, two, three, four, five, six, six inches. So it's about 16 inches and 3 eighths overall. 
I don't have a scale right here, so I can't give you the weight, but I'm gonna lay this out and um, let you guys kind of um, have some close-up looks. And then I'm gonna go outside and cut some bottles. It's a big knife. Almost dropped it. All right, pretty exciting. Man, it's a big knife. All right, take this camera down. Give you guys a closer look. All right, so a little bit closer look here. Uh, this is sitting on top of my drawing. So right here, that may come out a little farther on the production. I, I definitely want it a little bit more rounded, but um, you had to cut all this by hand and a little bit of this got cut off. So <laughs> once you cut things off, you can't put them back. So, um, but that's fine. That's not gonna affect me um, seeing how I like the blade shape. Let's see. Ones up almost perfect. It's a little bit there. It's not there, but that's not a huge deal either. Handles look good. And uh, I went back and forth with how I'm wide I wanted this. Um, pretty happy with that. Um, I think it's gonna feel good and it's gonna feel really good during chopping. Let's see if I can get some good light in here. The lighting in this room is not that great. I will get some better pictures and hopefully some video when I get outside. It's a little dark. Um, there's black scale liners in there. Some copper, that's going to end up turning probably uh, a greenish color. Lighter hole in the back. All right, um, gonna head outside and chop some bottles up. This sheath is also um, very nicely made. Heavy duty leather. Stitching is clean. Knife is in there snug. All right, guys. Um, that's it for now. And uh, after I talk to the company, make sure that there's no final changes on this. Um, it's probably going to be another eight months before I get production prototypes. And then. Um, about another eight months before there is a first production run. So um, let me know what you think. And follow me on Instagram at WellRegulated for updates. Alright, Marine Reaper buoy B44X. Let's see if I can find something to chop around here. Alright, some chopping. Stay out of the poison oak over here.
All right, first cut. V44X, a rain and reaper buoy. Okay, so these are my first impressions uh, with the knife, the Marine Reaper buoy V44X that I had um, made by Papa Bear Knives. The sheath is very nice. Stitching looks good. It's a nice, thick, heavy sheath. And the production models gonna have kydex I just got this one for me so uh, I think you can use this fully here to do some gripping and certain draw knife tasks um, little snap cuts like little quick snap cuts work really good with the choil. You can still chop here, but if you need to do some heavier cuts, you can kind of choke down on the bottom here and get a little bit more reach. So uh, the upward angle here, stabs good. Up, stabs good down. And this is a pretty big knife. Um, <laughs> I drew it on paper. Um, for some reason, I'm actually holding it. The knife is really big. So, uh, this is the beast. All right, so um, I think I want to take and round these off a little bit. So it's a little bit more gradual, but not too much. Other than that, the ergonomics and the handle feel pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna round that more or not right there on the edge. But uh, I think the weight is good for chopping. Um, you can definitely get on here and do some smaller tasks. And uh, I'm really impressed with the um, craftsmanship from Alan at Papa Bear. I think this knife looks great. Um, I went and took a Dremel, Dremel go Bert 
and uh, I just put a little 45 on the choil there, kind of dehorn it some. The inside was polished and uh, there was a little sharp edge, so I just took that down. Only took a couple minutes. All right, guys, so um, let me know what you think. I'm really happy with this and can't wait to move forward on this design process. All right, y'all have a good one and uh, be safe.